Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to give you a quick update on Octacron, the um, MIDI drum sequencer. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. Okay, so I I have already created a couple of videos on uh, Octachrome, so please do check the playlist associated to this video to uh, see the previous videos, as these will not be a full tutorial on Octachrome. It's just a, a um, an update in terms of what has changed. So as you remember, it's, uh, uh, well, I hope you remember, if not, uh, just check the, the previous videos in the playlist. But uh, if you are already familiar with Octachrome, so just click on the plus sign, create a MIDI channel because it's a MIDI processor. It's uh, a MIDI drum sequencer. So you have to create a a MIDI channel like so, and that's what it looks like. In terms of changes, uh, well, it supports uh, iPhone, which is uh, great. It has different possibility of visualizing the grid. It has a compact view. It has 16 now different parts, which is great. And it is much more customizable when it comes to actually the MIDI maps. As you um, know, if you have already used the Octachrome, it's a MIDI sequencer, so you need to have an audio source. So in this case, we create an audio channel. And why not? Let's try to use FAC a drum kit, which is really, really a nice drum kit. Now let's connect the two. So we go here to the option as an input, we select uh, Octachrome. Okay, so we open Octachrome, we go to the menu here, and uh, underneath here you can see the MIDI mapping. So we select applications because it's an app that we are driving, the FAC uh, drum kit and not the hardware. And then down here we choose uh, the corresponding MIDI mapping that it is. And as you can see, 16 different parts, which is uh, great. So let's start. Let's create a step. So we can change the velocity down here, but um, also you could, for example, change here the, the from the mixer, the uh, volume for that bass drum. Okay, so let's create a couple of more steps like so, and let's remember to adjust that velocity, something like that. It doesn't have to be precise, it makes it more human-like. And uh, it is as simple as that to create your first pattern. And of course, you can create many of them. You can go also in song mode, which is great. You can repeat it, etc., etc. You can do you can do a lot of different things. But again, this is not a full tutorial on Octachrome. Please do see the other videos that I already created contained in the playlist. And of course, you can drive not only drum kits, but you can also drive synthesizers. So let's choose, for example, a bass synthesizer like uh, King of Bass, which um, it's okay. So we just perfect. Per and then we connect it to Oct Octachrome, like so. We lower also by 12 semitones what is coming in okay perfect now if we go here we choose uh, for example number 14 and we just put the note there now if i play you don't hear it additionally you 
actually you hear it because it's receiving on both MIDI channels, on all MIDI channels. So you go on the first one, let's say that this one received only on channel number one, and um, the bass uh, receives only on channel number two. And so do we now, if I play. You don't hear, of course, uh, King of Bass because that is receiving on channel number two. Now, if you see here, we put this note here on uh, part number 14 on this first step. We don't want that to be played on the drum kit. So we go up here and then we scroll down. We go to customize. We find part number 14. So we keep scrolling down 10, 11, 13. And 14, here we go. It says MIDI 49. We click on it, scroll down, we change the channel to number two. And let's click play. And now you can hear that King of Bass is actually playing along, alongside FAC drum kit. So just a quick tutorial to just uh, make you aware of some of the changes that have been introduced. So it's getting better and better, which is great news. I hope you enjoyed this short update. And as always, see you next time. Bye.